Hello, my name is Ross Johnson. I'm an autistic savant from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Today I'll be talking about calendar calculation and special skills with people with autism. People with autism are gifted, uh, some people are gifted, some people also have savant skills, which in tune works with the movie Rain Man. If people seen the Rain Man, it's where an autistic savant, uh, uh, I think it's uh, not Dustin Hoffman, but uh, the other actor, I don't remember his name in, in Rain Man where he uh, uh, does massive date calculation and math calculation and remembers how many toothpicks land on the floor. I myself am a calendar savant, so I can take a date anywhere between, my date range is 1900 to 2015, and I can take that any date within that range and instantly calculate the day of the week it lands on in the, in, in the calendar of, of that year. I check my dates on www.timeanddate.com and that is a site where it has world clock and date calculator and uh, calendars for the last uh, 3,999 years. And uh, I use that, that, that site to check my answers. And you can too. I, 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 uh, I, I, would, I would invite people to, when they leave a comment, to ask me certain date questions and right away I can respond the day that we get lands on. Um, I also experience synesthesia. Synesthesia is a, is a psychological phenomenon that happens in autistic savants that uh, shows colors, shapes, and numbers to form a correct answer. And the, the certain numbers can be bothersome or helpful. The number uh, four and the number two stand out when I do a day calculation, and uh, certain the days of the week have different colors. Like Monday is green, Tuesday is yellow, Wednesday is purple, Thursday is brown, Friday is blue, Saturday is black, and Sunday is and Sunday is uh, red. And uh, I don't know why that is. It just forms in my mind. And um, the co the comfortable number two and number four form, and number nine is a comfortable feeling also. Thursday has a very, very comfortable feeling, and it's no, it's when I feel comfortable that I know I'm right. Although Thursday can also give me a comfortable feeling that I know I'm, I'm maybe I'm not sure as well. So I can use calendar math also to prove that I'm right. So let's use a few dates here. I've, I know, let's just say I know a lot of these dates already, but um, if I go to time and date time www .time and date com, so that's T I M E. A N D D A T E dot com, then I can check. And you can also check online too as you, as when you leave a comment. I'm going to choose a random date. I'll say November 22nd, 1951. So I'm, I'm going to tell you that's a Thursday because I'll tell you why. And I'll use the calendar math to prove it. So what I do when I'm, when I'm thinking of a date, on November 22nd, 20, uh, in 2014 was a Saturday. I always refer to the 2014 calendar to, 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 do, to start my calculations in my head doing synesthesia. I can also do using uh, visual photographic memory, which I could also also picture the date in my mind. So I pictured the date November 22nd in the calendar basis in a, in a seven day algorithmical format. And um, so I had fin Picture November 22nd is landing out as a Saturday in 2014. Then I go to 51 because in algorithm 7, from 2014 to 51, there's, uh, so I'll do the algorithm for you. So 2014, 2007, 2000, 93, 86, 79, 72, so back going back by sevens for twenty fourteen there's uh all algorithms have no remainders. So then I will also calculate leap years. There's sixteen leap years between fifty nineteen fifty two and twenty twelve. I know this because of the research I've done. Um nineteen nineteen uh eighty six marks um seven leap years and nineteen fifty eight marks fourteen leap years. And then uh, 1956 is a leap year, 1952 is a leap year, so add to 16 leap years. Then the calculation for day calculation, usually one year equals one day. So if I take 16 years and calculate the 16 days, then I'm left with uh, 
and divide that by seven, I have two weeks and two days. So now visualize um, November twenty second landing on twenty fourteen, and as in uh, as in nineteen uh, and twenty fourteen as, as as a Saturday, and I have to go back two weeks and two days. So know that there's seven days in a week. So um, two weeks is fourteen days, and I have to go sixteen days backwards to now go backwards because I'm going backwards in time from twenty fourteen. So so visualize. Um, find on your calendars um, November 22nd landing on 2014 is a Saturday and it goes through the calendar backwards twice so 14 days and you also land on a Saturday again and you go out two more days and you land on Thursday and that's how the calendar math behind my answers um, but I do it so fast that it's almost like instantly and it's, it's not actually a trick it's such I, it's do, I do it by memory I also do it by instant math and I can uh, and it's all actually uh, a sub skill because I do it. I do it. I can do that at any, any date. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, comment in the in the, in the comment below. And make sure to subscribe. Take care. Have a good day.